Hi, uh, my name is Michelle Knudsen, and my next book is Evil Librarian, uh, which comes out in the fall of 2014. That would probably be Mickey and the Broken Lamp, which I narrated to my mother uh, before I could actually write it out myself. Uh, it's about Mickey Mouse, I totally stole it. And um, he has a lamp which breaks and he gets it fixed, has a happy ending. Um, <laughs> so it was a very short story and ended well, so I think that sort of set me on the course for writing um, children's books maybe way back then, because I do like happy endings and books that are short. I like that it's funny. <laughs> I didn't know if I could write a funny book, and um, it's the first time I've tried intentionally to be funny while writing, so um, I'm always happy when I've read little pieces of it and people have laughed in the appropriate places. Um, so I'm, I'm proud of that. I'm proud that that seems to have worked out, that it's funny. Well, I want to believe that, of course, everyone will love this book. Um, but probably the perfect ideal reader would be someone who would, there's a lot of musical theater uh, in the book, and I put a lot of musical theater references sort of sprinkled throughout. So like a former musical theater nerd like myself, um, someone like that would be a really good reader who would pick up on some of those things. And uh, anyone who's ever had a crush on, a, on an unattainable boy uh, would also be a good reader. Well, the best advice that I can think of now, would, um, it's actually advice my editor gave me about uh, writing picture books and paging them out. Because um, I tend to write, as much as I was saying I like short books, my picture books are really long. And um, something that helps me try to think about them in picture book form is uh, to page them out in terms of how they will be laid out as a book, to think about illustratable moments and um, sort of the shape of the story in picture book format. So that's really helpful. I found, haven't found a way to translate that into writing novels yet. <laughs> that would be really helpful too. But it's, it's the best picture book advice I've gotten. Well, I do, I do like getting any kind of response to my book. Um, I really appreciate the teachers and librarians who talk to me about Library Lion. The teachers have used it in the schools. Um, that's always really nice to hear. Um, some of my, I think my favorite responses are the ones I get from actual readers, though, um, which has been new with my older books, because with the picture books I usually hear from the parents or the teachers um, or the librarians. Um, but for my middle grade novels, it's been really great to actually get feedback from, you know, the young people who are reading my books. And uh, I've gotten to meet some of them at book festivals, hearing from them directly about the things they like, the ones who ask questions you know, about the mythology of the world, like, you know, where did the dragons come from? And like, when this happened in chapter three, like, did you know, like, those people are my favorite readers who've clearly read the book more than once and have like really paid attention to the story. And that's amazing to me to think that there are people reading my book who are so taking it in to that extent and then excited to talk to me about it. That's the best. Libraries have been really important uh, in my, in my reading and writing life, I would say. Um, I sort of still remember that awe of like, just sort of getting over the idea that I can go to this place where all of these books are and take whichever ones I want home and read them and bring them back and get more. Um, and I remember when I discovered, this was in the, I think it was the Great Hills Library in Staten Island when I was growing up, um, there was like a whole shelf of dragon books and I just like worked my way down like it was the best, knowing that there was this whole, I would just go back and there would be more and I would take them home. Um, so I think that was instrumental in like the beginnings of my love of reading and my love of libraries. And I worked in libraries, I was a school library monitor, I worked in a library um, at Cornell University as a student and then I went back and worked as an adult and um, worked at the NYU library <laughs> briefly, like I can't seem to stay away. So Library Line is a much more straightforward, I love the library kind of book. Evil Librarian may not sound like the same sort of tribute to the library. Um, although, the evil librarian is, a, is a, when he's being a librarian, is actually a fairly good librarian. And um, 
and it's still a, it's obviously an important place to me. So it just I think it's going to keep showing up in my writing. There's actually there's a library in uh, my middle grade fantasy series too, private library, but it's still there. <laughs>